Hi, I'm Grace from the Southern Glamper, and today I'm going to show you how to make batch cocktails. I'm going to do a batch margarita. There's lots of variations that you can do. These are perfect for the campground or at home. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how. So when you talk margaritas, it's really easy to talk variations. So the first type of margarita that you could make with this is just a typical margarita. And you're gonna start with the tequila, the lime, and also your agave and the pinch of salt. However, the only other ingredient you need is this Cointreau. And that's gonna give you just a typical margarita. You'll need four ounces of that and you'll add it directly into your bottle of tequila. Now, if you would like to do a variation, and this is the one that I'm gonna do today, this is a huckleberry margar um, huckleberry liqueur, actually, that I purchased in Montana. It is from Glacier Distilling. I had kind of wondered what am I gonna do with this when I brought it home, and then I decided to play with it a little bit, and the batch margaritas is perfect for that. So instead of doing the Cointreau, I just replace out the orange liqueur with the huckleberry liqueur and it gives you a huckleberry margarita. So those are a couple of options. If you have another liqueur option that you want to try out, you certainly could. I'll show you how to do it and then we'll wrap up. All right, so here we go. So I have the tequila, it's already had the 10 ounces poured off and into that I'm going to add five ounces of fresh squeezed lime juice. Super easy, nothing complicated about that. Now, in order to make the huckleberry variation that I've mentioned, I am going to add to that four ounces of huckleberry liqueur. And it is actually going to take every bit of that, so that's perfect. So, into the bottle goes four ounces of huckleberry liqueur. It makes a really pretty color too. Now, the last two ingredients that I'm going to add is going to be the agave. Now, I'm just gonna eyeball it and about an ounce, ounce and a half. The main thing is you just don't want to overfill it because you don't want this to explode. It shouldn't in your freezer, but just precaution. And then add a pinch of salt in there. You can add two if you really like salt. But the only other thing left to do is just cap it, shake it up really nice, and into the freezer it goes. Like I said, you can do a traditional variation of this and add Cointreau. Either way, it's a perfect cocktail. It's super easy. Hope you enjoy it. The actual recipe will be in the comments to this video. And if you have questions, shoot me an email, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy camping.